Your role. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Hold them up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a little okay. tricky. Carol, so we're missing me. Dan. What did I do? We're missing yeah. Pete. Okay. Okay. Did I? Is that it? One, two, three. Sorry. Um, well, no, we're, we're missing somebody else. <laughs> people on that. We're missing people. 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 I got the impression that Peter wasn't planning to come. He didn't say so. Oh. He's, he never has said he's not coming. Oh, Jason is yeah. missing. The mayor is missing. Okay. But we're missing somebody else, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dang. I would like, uh, Bob, are you ready? Yeah. I'd like to call the Efficiency Committee meeting together. Um, I have been asked if Bill DeVoice, who is president of the fire company, might make a comment to the group so we're all on the same page. And um, he know, Bill knows that you made presentation to about the various options open to us, and he just wants to make it clear as you made it clear to all of us the last time that you were not representing the fire department, you were just giving us information we saw. Bill. Okay, um, the reason I'm here is because we... Um, Bill, would you mind... Come, come to the table, Bill. Have a seat. Oh. And give me a Does everybody know... Nah. Is there anybody... I introduced yes, yes, you, yes. everybody else does. Okay. I have his campaign materials on my refrigerator. <laughs> no hope. I was going to say, he hasn't cleaned his refrigerator. I'm concerned. I didn't say in my refrigerator. <laughs> now, the reason I'm here is because um, I watched the efficiency uh, study on TV uh, last week. And um, I see where you're discussing either a fire district or a fire protection district. Um, and I am the president of the fire department, um, and I've spoken to uh, Chief Kevin, um, and we, um, we do have a lawyer available. Um, uh, Terry Hannigan, he comes from uh, Albany, and we would be willing to have him come down and speak to you, uh, either this committee or both boards. Um, we tried to get fire district approved a number of years ago, four or five years ago, mm -hmm. right? And um, the village board didn't even act on it, and it just went awry. Uh, we would like to probably look into maybe starting that up again, um, but I think that it would be advantageous if possibly both boards sat and saw where we were and listened to Terry, our, our lawyer, um, in the future so that we could maybe make it a little bit easier for everybody. Susan, do you think it is possible once this committee makes its recommendation, because we're not empowered to make decisions, we're empowered to make a recommendation to the joint boards that at the point where our recommendation is considered by the joint board that the boards would be willing to invite? Um, I think that would be would good. Think, I think we'd absolutely be willing to invite. Um, I mean, why wouldn't we? But I think, regard, I mean, chicken or egg, you know, you're sort of saying after the two boards choose to maybe act or not act and then have them come down, I'm not necessarily thinking that it wouldn't be bad to have them come down potentially first to talk about a district, the benefit district, and the different options so the right. community is a little bit clearer because it seems to me that the fire department's always held up as the red herring for why we can't move forward. And so if everybody could be really clear on the different options, it might make the decision a little bit easier for us to figure out how we want to move forward. So we don't have to make a decision now because you're gonna, you know, you have an agenda for tonight, how we decide to move, but it would be, I mean, why would the two boards not want to have okay. the experts come yeah. and talk to us so we can have a better understanding? Yeah, he, he's a lawyer who specializes yeah. in this. Yeah. Who's, who's the us, Susan? This us or the board? The two us? boards. The two board boards is what I'm saying. The two the boards. Well, depending on what Sally, how Sally moves today, I mean, Sally put together a, a um, agenda for tonight, 
So depending on what happens tonight, it will depend on how we proceed and whether they come down and talk to us or they come down and to talk to the two boards. It depends on how Sully moves mm -hmm. the agenda forward tonight. All I'm just saying is regardless, anybody who's studying this issue yeah, well, would be yeah. foolish not to let the experts come down yeah. and talk to us so we can have a better understanding because this seems to always be you know, one no, of the I, I, I agree with that. I just didn't know who, yeah. which ones you were talking about. But, depends on how we move yeah. forward. Yeah, but, I don't know if you, you were But the overall thoughts. Yeah. At the time that we, nope. I, wasn't, we met. I, wasn't, I wasn't on either board. You were talking. Go ahead. I, I was talking to Susan. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but we did have the village board and the town board at, right. the, at the high school. That's what I've heard. Right? And it was a pretty good turnout. Yes, it was. Uh, and... Um, the village board just opted not to even entertain the motion well, of going like, forward. To be, to be fair, the town board didn't entertain any continuing discussion on the matter it, either. In they fairness, well. Let him talk, Sal. Yeah. Sal, okay. just wanna, Steve's talking. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm glad that Bill is here because you've all spoken when, when this conversation first came up about the fact that once you had an introductory handle on the information that it would then be time to invite Kevin and uh -huh. Bill up here to speak yeah. uh, about this. So it's good that this is being done in a timely way. Uh, we did discuss the fact that, that what Bill is reminding us about now that this matter did come up uh, in the past and it was left unfinished. It definitely yeah. was. There was a big turnout. It was a good presentation. I've mentioned, I've floated the idea that maybe that process should be brought back again, and I think that uh, Bill's suggestion at this point is a good one, but it, as, as you're all identifying right here, that's really a matter to continue with the two boards, kind of where we were yeah. when the presentation was first yeah. made. It's not really this, this group's Perfect. thing. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Well, I want to clarify. When you were speaking, the Efficiency Committee was just beginning its work and asked if that could be held in abeyance until we made a recommendation regarding consolidation. And what the committee, this committee recommended two years ago to the joint boards was a consolidated government village townwide operating as a village, which then would have negated the discussion of a fire district or what, what's the other name? Fire Protection District. Fire Protection District. And so now we're back to the drawing board because of what has happened with the state and the whole process of how we do consolidate. So now we're going back and revisiting yeah. what we recommended to see if we if it's viable to make a recommendation and part of that recommendation now would mean a fire district or a fire protection district which is why it would be very good to have a big meeting and invite the public to but it that would be after our recommendation to the joint boards. Um, but, but just one point of clarification, Bill. Um, my understanding is that the fire district was always what's been talked about, and the fire protection district as an option is something that nobody really knew about That's per correct. se, right? Yes. And so therefore, um, trying to understand you know, different routes that one can go in order to deal with the fire department and consolidation, um, needs to be discussed. So I guess I just, I know that you sent the information so I could call the lawyer if I should want to, which I probably will at some point, but you really just looked into the district, not the fire benefit district. Yeah, so I don't correct. know if you had any conversations with your lawyer about the fire benefit district and that option. I don't, I don't think we ever did. Okay. It's never come up. Uh, uh -huh. It's always been a fire district, right. all our surrounding communities and I don't know if there's a fire protection well, district in this com in this county. Yes, technically the town has a fire protection district. We are a fire protection district well, and we then contract with right. the village for actually, fire protection. So actually, and the only reason I know, the funny thing is, is when CGR talked to me about the fire protection district and said that commun some communities don't want to do the fire district because of the concern of not having any control over the budget, 
and that there's fire protection districts, so I had just learned about that. So for the last meeting, I had gotten a copy of the contract just to have it, so we were talking mm -hmm. about that I could refer to it. So when I read the, read the contract, I saw the town is a fire it's protection a fire. benefit district, right. and, then we, and, then we, and then we contract with the village for services. That's so it, there is, it actually does exist, and we are it and stuff. So in a sense, if we were to say that was the route we wanted to go, and I'm not saying that, I'm just saying if it was, all that would have to be done is the fire protection benefit district extends its boundaries to include the village, and then we contract with the fire department, you know, and whatever. So there is one in existence, yeah. Ted, well, we're it. But I mean... Uh, but it's anyway, I just want to say the conversation, I just wanted to... Yeah, as far as yeah. we can, all our neighbors, right? everybody does fire districts, which has right. their own board of fire commissioners, right. which it adds another level, but I think it's good mm -hmm. because we don't get politics involved either. Okay, Steve, one, two, jump. Right, yeah, I just want to um, make sure that, that, you know, the distinction is drawn. While we do have a fire protection district for purposes of engaging mm -hmm. the contract with the village and the fire department to do that, what Bill was referring to, which is actually true, is that there's nobody around here who is contracting directly with an independent fire company as the provider. You're, you're dealing through yeah. the village. You're dealing no, no, with, with that. Right. Walker so Valley. we don't. Um, How about Walker Valley? Valley's a fire, fire district, right? That's, that's a, a district. district with commissions. Yeah. I thought that's an independent uh, not for profit. Not that I know. Bloomington at one time sold their services to <laughs> the town of Rosedale. Maybe they even do to the town of Bolster right now. I'm not sure. That was years ago that mm -hmm. I knew that. But, you know. Yeah. No, I do. I do to answer, Steve. I understand. I mean, in Lloyd, they have a fire. They have, they have a fire district in Lloyd. Fire district. Okay. Town so Lloyd, Lloyd, they have a fire district, but the town of Lloyd uses their fire district. You know, and each community has their own district. Whatever. We're a hybrid because we've got the town and the village, and so in order for us to, I guess, legally enter into the services with the fire department, we had to create a fire benefit district. I would suspect that's why it was done. So I understand all that. I'm just saying in a way that I just know, and I'm not saying I have a preference for either one. I'm not married to anything. I just know in the past I have heard... Don't tell Steve that. My Steve? <laughs> <laughs> you um, married to someone, not something. You know, all I'm saying is that I have heard when people talk about um, not wanting to um, consolidate into a town is because they're afraid of a fire district and they would never support a town if they had to create a fire district. So all, I, all I'm just saying is if we have the expert come down that he present to us, explain the benefits of fire district, explain the benefits of a fire protection district, because at the end of the day, the communities have to decide which one they might want if they want to consolidate and one could be a showstopper. I don't know if that's the case or not. I'm just saying, let's just understand everything and let's all try to make intelligent decisions of how to move forward and not try to put one thing forward without giving everything a fair shake if we're trying to come to some solution to see if there's an option to consolidate. That's all I'm saying. And I think so. in terms of where this began, it is the joint boards who will be making, making the decision. The decision. Right. And therefore, it seems to me logical that once this committee makes its recommendation and once it goes to the joint boards and once the, the joint boards can then say, We'd like to know the difference of these two things, and will you come? Does that sound like a game plan, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be the thing okay. to get. The two boards will move, uh, you know, yeah. to sit down, and we'll have Terry come down, just Susan or Sally. Give me a call, I'll call Terry, and we can make sure he comes down. Very good. Well, thank you for coming. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Sally? Can I? mention something not quite on the agenda well yes it is it's number five <laughs> um on monday nights i always have to leave at six because i have a day at kingston so i'm um, a question for future meetings can we start earlier than 5 30 so i can be here for a little bit more of the meeting maybe 5 or 4 30 if it can work well i think so. we've really tried to accommodate people and made things so i don't no, why we yeah, can't. Dan, Dan can't come. Doesn't home necessarily. Dan's not here now, anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, like, <laughs> Dan's not here. I couldn't meet so later matter. because I have to be downstairs. Dan couldn't meet earlier than this because he leaves work at five. And you so it may maybe the answer is to just not stick with Mondays. I don't know. It's, it, well, Mondays seem you know, to be 
The be I mean, the reason we decided on Mondays was because of planning board meetings, ZBA meetings, yeah. village board meetings, right. and then town board meetings. So Monday was the day that everybody said we could. It may not work. Right. I just thought I'd draw the request because yeah. I may not be here today. I need to discuss it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can get on with it and not have to keep meeting. And then yeah. it will be well, okay. that's Good. what I'm hoping. Okay. Um, why don't we try for five o'clock next week? Mm -hmm. to, yes. I mean, two, two weeks, weeks. Two to weeks. accommodate. Try that. And we'll just do the best we can. Okay. All right. Now the minutes. Everybody has the minutes. Can I just, there any? I just look at them real quick, Sally? Okay. I, just wasn't I, I have one. Does anyone want them read out loud? No. no. <laughs> I, know you would love, I know you would love to do that. No, I wouldn't. I actually wouldn't. But it's a, I it's, do have one addiction. It's a traditional part of parliamentary procedure, so I ask. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Um, I do have one addition okay. myself, and that was that one of the big discussion points over time was if we did consolidate and therefore a fire district need or a fire protection district either one need to be created would that jeopardize the million dollars and you very oh you're right left that out that was one of the early things okay and yeah. it was one of your big okay, you'll all recall the answer to that question was no it no. does not and so i would the, ask the you money. to include <laughs> in the minutes and also Perfect. if yep. you will include the email you received from mr however i said his yes. last name got it sure. i think that would that's very important that was probably one of the key things Anybody else have any additions or corrections? Motion to accept the minutes. So moved. And a second. Second. As amended. Second. As amended. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or as corrected, whichever way you want to do it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Okay. Um, what I want and hope we can do is we, you know, had a lot of discussion on the fire department. We've had a lot of discussion on a number of issues that really don't fall within the definite or the charge back to this committee from the joint boards. And while they have been very useful and very helpful, and I'm not sure we have an answer for all of them, what I want to do is make sure we understand what our mission is. And that was the joint boards, August 15th, asked if the Efficiency Committee would be willing to reconvene in light of the fact that we could not move forward with the original Efficiency Committee recommendation. And Kitty, because Kitty made the motion, wanted to know if the Plan B that was discussed by the Efficiency Committee, in other words, consolidation, was a viable alternative to our original recommendation. Bless you. Okay. Thank you. We have found out two things. One, we will have to have a fire district or a fire protection district. And two, we will have to have the county run because one of the things that we recommended was nonpartisan elections because it was going to be a village form. And that we cannot do that um, within state law. So it will have to be run by the county and it will be partisan and independent people can run as well, but political parties cannot. And nor were they ever able to be precluded from a village election, but traditionally in New Paltz, the village has always been nonpartisan. So if I, when I ran, I ran independently of Ariana, you know, and Stuart and I ran together on one government. I mean, that was what we ran on. So that can't be any longer. Those appear to be, from what we know from our consultant, the two major differences uh, between what we recommended and what we have been asked, can we recommend now? 
Does anybody else see any differences? Steve? Yeah, the town has two elected positions that it seemed to be the preference of the first recommendation that they be handled as appointed positions. And although it does seem that we can change the way the town is cur is, is doing that, that doesn't currently exist. So that would that's also represent changes. That's part that, of plan that are, B on the sheets. Probably significant changes. Okay, yeah. no, that is, that, we're talking about plan B as an alternative, okay? And you're absolutely right, and that is included in plan B. And also a fiscal controller, okay? We have we are recommending that if we recommend this, that one of the values that we saw was that the chief fiscal officer and the, the supervisor shouldn't be one and the same. In a village form of government, the budget officer, if you will, is not the chief fiscal officer. So we, we recommended and Plan B, which was our other alternative, recommends that those two positions be separated. Caselli, if I can just make one caveat, and maybe Jerry could correct me if I'm wrong. I think by state law, the supervisor is the chief fiscal officer. I don't think you can change that. However, you can have a budget officer, a <coughs> finance officer, you can create a position, you know, with the person. A controller. You know, it, you know well, you can't, I don't think you can create a controller. I think you can only create a controller in towns that are 50,000 people plus. So I think in towns that are under 50,000 people, you can do finance officer, budget officer. Whatever. You can create the position, but just as a technicality, I don't think you could take away the chief financial officer title from a supervisor because I think that's statutory. Okay, but sir. I do believe you should have an extra person independent of the supervisor because the supervisor could be <laughs> well, a pop personality contest, you know, and they might not know nothing about math. And so, you know, the town would be well served by having somebody. And right. does that I don't mean that that person would uh, be civil service or would be what, but would be continuing regardless yes. of elections? Right. 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 Okay, so a professional. It would be right. an appointed right. position created by the new government. Should, should the, the joint village town accept the recommendations of this committee and go forward, and that doesn't mean they can't tweak it, of obviously this is not our decision. We can only make recommendations. We could recommend that the boards in their resolution to the community that they recommend that the two positions be separated so that there is a, for lack of a better word, comptroller separating so that no. fine, breaking apart the financial aspect. Mm -hmm. That would be appointed an appointed position. I have no idea whether civil service would be involved or whether it's considered, you know, non. Okay. Well, I would think it's it, civil it, service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's civil service. How Is it? How it has to be. It has to be presumed to be civil service. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Yeah. But I, no, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't use the word controller if that's limited to fifty thousand. Use right. some other term. Well, right. but, we'll but some type of financial term. budget right. officer. Right. right. What do but, they have in um, Ellenville? Is that a civil service position? I suspected. I mean, I've been since I've gotten into office, been trying to check out how to get a finance officer for the town after the. Um, after what we've inherited this time around, and I don't think anybody should ever be put in this position again. And I think it's really important that you have a consistent financial person managing the finances. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, truth be told, I ran because I wanted to stop at Walmart, and the town was lucky that I could do math. Okay, um, but you know, so it is. But I think it's a fifty. I think when I checked out the controller, um, that it's towns of fifty thousand plus can have a controller. Um, Towns of 50,000 less can have a finance officer, a budget officer, a, a village you know, manager. Yeah, you can have you know you can have a town manager. Uh, so there's different ways. So all all I think Steve for the purposes of the minutes, that it's not separating out the chief financial officer from the supervisor. You can't do that. It's just creating a yeah. position of a finance officer, you know, for the town. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Right. For the community. Right. For the community. The community. Right. Right. Question. So, yes. Um, the the voting. Where does that fall? She's not up to that. Now. That's, the, that's on the second <laughs> tier of bugaboos. Um, 
we are going to, what we recommended was according to Article 17A, which is Governor Cuomo's consolidation law when he was the Attorney General, and that, is there anything you want, anything else you need to? Not really, I mean, I, I, I think we're going in a good direction. Maybe we can finish next meeting. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you'll finish yeah. at this meeting. Yeah. We're yeah. going to meet at five o'clock yeah. in two weeks because Rick. I have to go always go at six. Oh, we have imposed on him and his goodwill because he can't be here. Yes, the King's Selling the agenda says the 30th. That's three weeks from tonight. Did, do you want to meet in two weeks? Oh. Right. And I apologize, uh, by the way, I had a is that, work related to Today's the 10th. Well, it's the 30th. You mean three weeks? Three weeks? Yeah, three weeks, yeah, weeks or two weeks? weeks? Oh, how do you want to meet next week and be done, he said. No, well, I'd like to meet. Whenever we meet next, I would like us, well, hopefully, to have formulated a recommendation. I would like to not wait all the way to the 30th, right. because yeah. I'm getting the impression right now that there are two matters that need to be addressed by the two. We're currently discussing two matters that actually have to be discussed by the two boards oh, before right. we can actually know whether we're, because if they just say no, no, we don't want that, then, then we can't make the recommendation to them. They should go ahead with it because they're ruling part, uh, key, key parts of it out. So maybe- well, I, I disagree. We can, well- we can recommend something they don't want to do. We don't yeah, have to make our recommendation make contingent on whether they want to do well, something. Well, that may be the case, but we also Monday, don't next week, have... Two weeks, or three okay. weeks. All right, so, 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 so I, I don't we think want that, two weeks? So I can do oh, next week. I, think, I do one week. <laughs> what? Yeah. Do it next week? I can cool. do it next week. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Next All right, week. Two I, weeks? He said next well, week, Next week. <laughs> one week. We can do it next one week. week. I can't. I can. I'm not oh, available. Oh, oh, two weeks. We can do that. No, no, but I, I the question was three weeks. The minute, so no, two weeks. Two weeks. All right. Um, and that takes us to the 24th. 24th. Can I just take a quick step back? Yeah. From text message from uh, Ulster County Comptroller. It says the village manager position in Ellenville is not a civil service position. That's correct. You didn't ask that question. That wasn't yeah, the question. We didn't ask, though. We didn't ask about village manager. No, no, no. If a finance officer no, or a budget officer, officer in the town mm -hmm. is civil oh, that's service. Right. Would be different. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Well, All right. happy we got to include that anyway. <laughs> yeah. But what you can ask him is if it's true that you can't have a control, that a controller position is a, um, in a town of first class of 50,000 and over, because I think that's what my research has shown. So you can't ask him that question. Okay. We, Ellen asked a question, and you raised a question, Steve. I believe, and you all can say we're wrong, the Efficiency Committee does not make decisions. The Efficiency Committee makes recommendations. Yeah. Whether those recommendations are approved, agreed upon, disagreed, or tweaked, is up to the joint boards, and the fire department would be an example of that, and that is why we agreed earlier that once the recommendation from this committee goes to the joint boards, the joint boards would ask that there be a meeting for, for both the joint boards and the general public for the man, man to cut, Terry? Terry, it's Terry yeah. to come yeah. from Albany to make a presentation about fire districts as opposed to fire improvement districts. Protection districts. Fire protection, protection, protection districts. I'll get this right yet. Um, fire protection districts so that everybody understands the differences and the yeah. similarities and can make, but it's not our decision to make. It's going to be the joint boards. So we they, all agree, we all, we've all agreed to that. Yeah. So why don't you just well, continue with your that training? Steve just brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I, 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 from, from, from what I gather space. from where, why don't you just continue with your training for Because ultimately, I think from what I understand from your agenda, you're going to be asking for us to potentially make a recommendation to the two boards yep. so the two boards can act. Yep. So how we choose to move forward with what we want to ask the two boards and what we want to do first or not, we haven't gotten there. So why don't you just continue right. with your conversation? Then we can have a discussion on something you put forward because right now we're yeah. just... Ellen raised the question and according to Article 17A, because this has been 
bandied about forever. It is two governments deciding whether they will come together. That means one vote for villagers, one vote for town outside the village. Not two votes for the village. The village votes once, the town votes once. Do you wish to consolidate into one government? Wait, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. If it's the two governments, then I thought the issue was, therefore, the villagers did vote. If you read Article 17a, and we can, you know, go back and forth on this, and this seems to be a place where we have been stuck. It is very clear, if you go, there are two ways to do this. The joint boards can present a resolution to the voters, or each the town residents can petition, and the village residents can petition. And if you read that process, it is very clear that village residents get one vote only, and town residents town get of, one vote. Say, yep, town it's town outside village residents. Yeah, town outside village. I have a clarifying question about that. The village can dissolve itself without people in the town outside the village voting at all. Why would why would Dan and I and Susan have to vote on this matter at all? To the thing on this what, plan B, you know what, Steve? Because no plan B is not the solution. It's good. So, okay. If, if, if I can jump Go in, ahead. I see what you're saying. Uh, well, because it's it's all technicalities the way, yes. but right now you've got the village can dissolve itself, right? And you're right. We have no say. However, the governor brought forward through 17A a method for consolidation, not dissolution. And through the method for consolidation, if two communities, if well, two communities, it's the town outside the village and the village, if the two entities want to consolidate, then and you put it into the hands of the residents, not the boards, the way the law is written, the town outside the village carries a petition. The village residents carry a petition, but the petitions have to say the same thing. And then when they get the you know, number of votes that they, you know, signatures that they need, they bring it to both boards, and then both boards are forced to put up a referendum asking both communities to vote on a consolidated plan. So that was something that was through the 17A that the governor created as consolidation versus just disillusion in of itself, which is different okay. than the disillusion or the town outside the village choosing to do annexation. I get that, but the part that's still not working for me is that it seems that what you're saying is that if there were a, if if there were a small turnout in the village, but and and people overwhelmingly did not want to do this, but there was a huge turnout amongst the much less transient people who live in the town outside the village. It almost makes it sound like we could force the village to dissolve, and if that's not the case, no, I think then I think, again, I question I think, I think, whether I think, I think, my vote is relevant I think, to this I think, at all. I think, and again, this is something that has to be vetted out a little bit more. I won't profess to be an expert, and I don't know if Jerry knows it better than me. I think if it's two different votes, it has to pass them pa pass in both jurisdictions. Right. Right. So both what, I'm, what I'm asking is why why hold the second one? Because it's because, contingent upon the village wanting to dissolve itself. Because well, no. Well, yes. I mean, technically, yes and no, because there's a lot of people in the town outside the village who don't necessarily want to merge with the village. So therefore, in a way, I think what everybody's, at least, you know, from what I, I know from my point of view, okay, but I think everybody else's point of view is that in one way, this is being approached from a community perspective of how do we get the community to agree that the community wants to be joined to be one community. So by dissolving the village, it's only the village residents who decide that they want to be a part of the town, and the town residents like you, me, and Dan, you know, get stuck picking right. up the, you know, but picking my up. My point the, is, if the village wanted to dissolve itself, I don't have a thing to say about that. No, no, no. If we You're right. become sure, a consolidated right. town, whether we want to right. or not, which is still an option. To, <laughs> but if the village were to dissolve itself, simply say, okay, we dissolve, then we are in party to as a village as I understand it, we then aren't party to what the new government right. would be. So by doing it this way, 
The two boys have to be what, 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 what we'd be voting on is the actual structure of the subsequent government. Right. Not no, what we're, what this committee is supposed to do is somebody okay. asks us a question and we're supposed to answer it. Right. We're not supposed to do further studies. We're not right. supposed to. The question is, since plan A won't work, would plan B work? And the answer is, right. plan B would work except that you have to pay attention to these two or three things. You know? Except what? You yes. have to pay attention to these two oh, or three okay. things. Oh. And and uh, but legally it would work, it could work, but you have to make sure to address the question of what the structure of fire services will be, and here and you can call this fellow into town and ask him about that. And uh, we and uh, we have we have thought about we we've looked into this, and the answer is that Plan B would work with with these caveats that we've been looking at, and that's what they asked us to do. They didn't ask us, they, they didn't say make a further study. They said Ch check it out and see what this option plan B is viable because plan A is not viable. That's that's the question that we're supposed to answer. Mm -hmm. okay. We're not supposed to answer every question on earth. They might want to know a lot of other things. Right. And and they will they they're at liberty to find them out. I guess the central question has been and is going to continue to be is this new government that would follow a vote if the vote were successful going to be something that is less expensive, the same, or more expensive than what's hitting my tax bill right now. So whose job is it to answer that question? That, that I think we can recommend as the committee, Steve, because Article 17A is very clear. There must be a financial impact statement. We can't do that. We can recommend, as part of a recommendation, that the two boards do a financial impact statement because it has to be a part of the plan that's presented to the voters. And the and state. So I would go further on this uh, uh, analysis. There's a best and worst case analysis for Plan B. Now, um, mm -hmm. there's been enormous uh, controversy in the community about the financial impact uh, mm -hmm. allegations that studies were made, allegations that the studies are wrongly, that are wrongly grounded, that, that the premises of the studies are incorrect, that they're advocacy studies. And uh, so that was brought into question, uh, outside opinion was sought and so on. But uh, so there's been significant study of that. Now, uh, that, that doesn't mean it's resolved or not. Mm -hmm. But I don't think the question that we face is resolving that. I'm we just asking whose who's responsibility would it all be? The, the two boards would then you know, work that as part of the point, plan? If it came to a political yeah. campaign for one or the other option, the sides engaged would, would, would try to make the best case they could make. The boards would, would say, well, even though plan, could, might say, even though Plan B is, not, is viable legally, we don't know enough to do that, or we don't want to do it until ABC conditions are met, until we know more about the fire department. And uh, we have neither the resources, the time, or, and I would say for myself, the energy to do it, to do another financial impact analysis of this. This has been done several, or attempted, I won't say it's done perfectly well, but attempted several times. I, I think that um, the question is yes. It's, the answer is yes. There are certain questions that, you, that, that were raised by whether Plan B could be done. Plan B can be done. Um, is it desirable to do it? That's the debate going forward. And the, the answer wasn't, and we obviously thought A was better than B. We may think that B is better than nothing, but that's for the board, you know, as an alternative, but that's for the boards to, figure, to decide. You know, um, I think that we're, uh, the venue that we're in is being challenged now, and uh, the people of, are, are, were appointed a while ago, and uh, I think the people came together in good faith to answer the question the board had, not to, you know, continue uh, adding an item and without limit you know, of their time, of their commitment to, 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 to engage with this, uh, this never-ending dynamic. But at this, by the same token, is there a way? Speak up, because you're on camera. By the same token, is there a way, as we do make whatever recommendation we wind up making, that we can do it in a way that puts, well, 
puts the boards on the spot to actually, if we recommend that it's our recommendation that the two communities can act on plan B and move forward that way. And it's up to the boards to figure out you know, the whys and hows and should we and whatever. Then we walk away and there's no driving force to make it happen. Well, there's a, there's a, uh, that's, that's a fun, first of all, I think that financially we can construct, you can construct an option that would be very advantageous financially to the people in the village and not disadvantageous to the people in the town. Who's the we who would We, the community, that? can construct an mm -hmm. option, or a, a smart person who looks at this and works out the details can, I think I know enough to believe, to, to think that that's so now. I've not made a detailed financial analysis independent of whatever has been published. But th this committee can say plan B is possible and we think it's a good idea. Or we could say plan B is possible. Or we could say plan B is possible but you have to look at a, a couple of things that are, are open questions and the fire department's offered to help us get that information. Mm -hmm. So we, could, we don't just have to say plan B is possible. But, uh, and then the boards have to decide. It's now in their court, and, and we could also say plan B is possible, we think it's a good idea, and think we should decide it by the end of the calendar year. You know, we, but w that's kind of even going beyond what we were asked to do, right? Right, right. Um, that wouldn't preclude us from doing it. But, um, you know, challenged by the idea that I'm going to be meeting through the summer and fall trying to figure out without any resources uh, a financial impact of, uh, of this after we've tried to do it several times and, and there have been various and sundry criticisms made of what we've done. We haven't been inclusive enough, we haven't, we've done, we've done advocacy research, we haven't been objective and, and all, all, all those kinds of things. I, I still think it's a good idea. I would still engage in making the changes. That, Politically, I would engage with that personally, but that's not what I think this committee is supposed to be doing. So right. then, let me extend my question and, and ask it this way: Is it um, is there a practical way for us in putting this forth? If that's what we decide to do, yes, we recommend this. We think this is a good idea, given these things that have to be taken account of, right. including a financial impact statement, and we recommend X way of having a financial impact statement done? Well, I think there's been several tries to do that. Right? But externally. I, can I make, I mean, uh, uh, but my answer is, um, the question is, I suppose we can go beyond our brief to any degree we wish to. But what I want, what I want to do is, is answer the question. You know, I, I don't want to get distracted, not distracted, I don't want to go down a lot of different paths that are relevant, but, you know, but I kind of didn't sign on for it, mm. you know. Um, but you want to answer, I would assume. Answer the question you the board's You want to answer asked. the question in a way that moves the issue right, forward. Right, but at the end of the day, if the boards want to explore this, they're going to do it. If they right. don't want to explore it, they're not going to do and it. And they're, and they're going to make political judgments based upon what their constituencies want. They're going to make judgments based upon what their best their best thinking is, you know, they're responsible and as responsible people. So we can't, it's always the, in, it's often in my experience the case that you want somebody to do something, try to figure out a way to make them do it whether they want to do it or not. Right? But I don't, I don't, but I don't, but I don't, I don't think that's what we're supposed to be doing. No. So I think Dan, Sally, I think Dan had his hand up. Well, actually, my question was more or less answered in the okay. discussion, so. Okay. But I think Ellen raises a good, a good point. We know from the past year and a half that fiscal impact is very important, and we also know that it is not going to have credibility unless it potentially the two boards say, okay, we're going to have an outsider, whoever that outsider is, come, and, but presumably somebody who knows about municipal government, and come in and just look. We have to have, as a part of the resolution in 17A, a financial 
statement. So why not recommend, and we can go through those issues of 17A if we want to, um, before we make a recommendation, but I, I think it might behoove this committee, yes, I agree. We're supposed to say, is plan B good or not? But I think in light of what we know has occurred, we would be very wise to recommend an outside, whatever we want to call it, to do the fiscal impact statement. Well, that's if they want to go forward. Yeah, so yeah they, they, that's they, they right. Might, Assuming, might, but we might, can't they, do they, it for they them. Might, they might have a contingent judgment. You know, we want to go forward if the numbers make sense. So therefore, we have to find out. Or they might say we don't want to go forward. That's but, that's but, fair. But that's I a, agree. That's a resolution. That's an outcome. Yeah. Right now, there's no outcome. There is an, is no. awaiting our answer to their question. That's mm -hmm. what um, back in uh, maybe June, <clears throat> maybe earlier, there was definitely a discussion at a joint meeting about having an independent auditor look at those numbers. I can't recall, I believe, but I can't attest that a vote was actually taken to engage such a person and there was discussion about how to apply for the reimbursement money that the act makes available for I, people I recall who, that too. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that that, that, that that if you check your minutes you'll see that that a, that a vote was actually taken mm -hmm. that's still on the books to engage such a person and apply for state funding to pay that person's costs and it would probably be a matter of simply pulling the trigger on that because I think and and even if it hasn't already been done, there's no question that the act specifies very precise amounts of money for exactly that purpose. And so many other communities have used it. I looked at the whole list. It's a long list. I've, people have accessed that money. So maybe that's part of the work. Maybe the way to go, because um, you know, as, as someone who's who's lived through the the, the mission creep. Um, <laughs> Although I was in a, on a seat where we actually were required to work out that money down to the last penny in that situation. But um, maybe the, the prudent approach, since I believe that resolution was already taken, would be to say that middle ground that uh, Jerry was just talking about, to say that it's, it's legally possible and here are the issues that you'll need to uh, explore in terms of determining the best structure that's going to go into the joint agreement and you should be acting on the financial review in that way. I think that may be the simplest way because it really shouldn't be this, you know, group that's that's left from the original larger group that's going to start going around with calculators and math and trying and to figure other, that stuff thing, out. The only other point I make, I, I'm a little time constrained. The other point I make is that it's not an auditing task. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an analysis task. Yeah. Some people. I tend to think you hire an accountant and you figure this stuff out. <coughs> Most accountants can't do this. And you know, but, they're not but there are. There's, but, there's, but, there's but, I are people. So, I, but I'd like to jump in after Jerry because he's absolutely right. So finish your thought, Jerry. No, I'm just saying that uh, an auditor is a kind of uh, is not the breed of cat that you hire to do this. Thing. Well, whoever but, well, is that? But that's why I, you know. I mean, I agree, Jerry. I, you know, to make a suggestion, you can throw it out. I don't really care. Um, you know, when we did the financial analysis. You know, Who's million, the, we, Susan? the finance subcommittee that uh, exactly. that Dave Lynn chaired. Okay, um, we had found a million six savings, but there was six hundred thousand that was controversial, which I happen to agree with the controversy of that six hundred. You know, and one of it was the building and grounds consolidation that we saved as a town, and three hundred thousand as the sort of fluke with the police. Okay, that should be taken off the table immediately. But there was a million dollars worth of savings that was identified, and this is where Jerry's saying an auditor couldn't do it, and I was trying to explain that to Sally, that when we sat with the committee, Nancy Bracco sat with her budget book, I sat with the town budget book that you've done and I've done, you know, and when we sat there and the budget committee talked, the finance committee talked, okay, if we combine, um, if we combine the clerk's office, what would it look like? And we sat there with our books and said, well, this is how it works here, this is how it works in the town, what do we have to do to make it work for a combined government? the two building departments, what do we have to do to work, make it a combined department? And we went through step by step by step and ultimately the committee did not accept anything that Nancy and I didn't agree with on behalf of the town and the village to say that Nancy and I agreed, yes, that could work. And there were even some cases where I thought costs would have to go up like for cleaning the sidewalks because we don't you know, have a law that you have to, you know, that our residents have to 
you know, shuffle the sidewalks, but the village you do. So I thought inherently we'd have to put more money into that line. But Nancy said, no, we don't have to. This is why. And she explained it to the committee because she understood it. So I really do believe that there was a million dollars of honest savings that we could recognize based on how two experts who do their both budgets understood and through that work. So I believe that there was enough work done to identify the million dollars worth of savings. Take the other 600. So my recommendation would be that as we move forward, that we try to take that million dollars worth of savings, try to explain it you know, more in depth, and then that's what we give to an outside company like a CGR you know, or somebody who's experts in this for them to then review and say, is their assumptions and thought process right? And we think you're, you know, you're lenient here, you know, you're too tight here, you're wrong here, but at least we're giving them our thought process, which is what Jerry's saying, an auditor can't do it. It's the community that understands what kind of services their community wants, you know, and then have that sort of be like the basis and then hire somebody to assess it as a possible way to move down this route. It's just that's, a that's, suggestion. That's a decision for the, for the Two boards. Right. right. So I'm right. just saying. I just, I just, as the person who raised this as an issue, I would like to say, that given, if we can determine that this resolution was voted on and passed, mm -hmm. that I would be content to have that as a reminder if we're putting it forward that we, in whatever terms that we want to go. And by the way, on X date, both boards agreed, and so let's go. But it was contingent upon a grant being gotten. Yeah. That's but that'll, the that'll be available. I have one, one, so, one question, though. Um, there's been a, a pretty substantial change. Um, I appreciate what you're saying about the million dollars, but there was also a considerable amount of money in there that was attributed to the highway department. No, no, um, that's 600000 That was That was 300000 then there was another three hundred thousand with the police. Uh, I'm saying take that out. It was the, the amount of the highway, the, whatever the amount was. I'm saying take that out. My my review of it was that it was that that particular attribution was was closer to the half million dollar range. I can get the document which I still have at home. The the issue there, forget about the the amount for a minute. The issue there is that there's been a lot of restructuring at the highway department that has generated a lot of savings already. So that entire line is going to have to be oh, revisited agree. because agree. consolidation may no longer have okay. a dramatic I completely, I completely agree. agree. That's, that's, right. that's right, yeah, I completely okay. agree. I'm just saying that I'm just saying that because it was portion of it was controversial and I agree that it was controversial and I understand, you know, I don't have a problem with that, but that doesn't mean all of the work that was done should be thrown out. So all I'm just saying that there was a good portion of work that was thrown out, that could be the basis, that's all I'm saying to start with, then you go from there and then you give it to some outside person and say, now go from here and come back and post, you know, that's all I'm saying. I don't disagree with you, in fact, I do agree with you, but I think the topic was so controversial and so that it would have far better integrity and far better credibility because if the village says the figures are these, then town people are going to say, oh no, and vice versa. And I think as we move along that it would behoove us to think about recommending a fiscal analysis financial plan, financial savings, whatever you want to call it, we can use information, but it should be an outside agency. I it is not connected to the no, town. No, no, we said that. Or we said that. We said that. We're always yes. saying okay. is that in other so words. Let's, but yeah. Sally, just, just again, to understand, again, back to Joey's point, auditors look at numbers or whatever. At the end of the day, the cost to the town or the village or combined is also relative to the level of services that a community wants. And so somebody from the outside, they could come in and say, you don't need to have X amount of building inspectors and you could save them out and we might say no because we want to make sure we get our building permits done fast so we want 10 building yeah. inspectors. The community has to decide the type of service that they want. That determines the financial budget, determines the savings. So that's all I'm saying is that from the work that was done, take away the controversial stuff. I agree with you wholeheartedly, Steve. But there was another uh, enough other departments that was well thought out in terms of how does that work for this community in terms of combining departments and providing the level of service that we both knew we thought was important to the community. That's all I'm saying is just... I don't want to hurry us along. Bob's go. got a planning board meeting that he has got to leave. So really have to go. Jerry's got to go. Are we prepared? I have two requests. 
One, I would like, because it's not just what we recommend. I believe, and we did this in part, but I think now we're really going to have to do it. I would like Dan Torres to examine his senior thesis and to bring to us the pros and cons of one government for a new boss, not just financial, all the pros and cons that you can think of, both fiscally and relationally, if we want to call it that, and, e and, and look at it not just from the standpoint of governance down, but pretend you're a resident needing services, okay? And I would like us to have that list for the next meeting. Or, now, you were gonna check your calendar. The 30th is good for you, but no. not the 24th? No, I'm gonna be gone next Monday. You're so gonna be gone next good. Monday, which is the 17th. 17th. I have somebody gonna be in front of my so house in eight minutes. Let's just 24. make sure everybody, do you know So is the 24th good? We're, that's what, that's right. right. Out the 24th for everybody else. All right. 24th is fine. I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to get here at 5, but I'll be able to get here a little later than that. Okay. Uh, to your point about bringing in the pros or cons, I certainly have a list, but I will tell you that the list mainly comes from, honestly, the people around this table. A lot of it was interview-based, so what I would then also say is instead of me interpreting what other people said, is that maybe everybody brings what their thoughts and that's, beliefs are as that's well. That's what I would uh, appreciate. Uh, I'll be here. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. But then, since the 24th. You okay, five o'clock. Next meeting, five o'clock, 24th. <laughs> and we'll just keep going until Dan gets here so he can be a part of this. Now. I'd like to say one thing. I'm getting a little concerned. We seem to be headed toward, you know, one, one government and consolidation. But we're leaving it seems as though we're getting a longer and longer list of things that we're leaving the town board to do. And I think it's incumbent upon us to have some recommendations on these. Oh, we will? Uh, well, but the list seems to be getting longer. We're saying, well, that's, that's not our job, that's, that's the joint board. And maybe it is, but I think we should have some, some more can consensus. Give any, or, can you give an example? Well, like the fire districts and the money, the, the budget. Uh, getting an outside person and then not leaving it. You know, I think we're going to we sort of deprecated what, what our job was if we could say, well, okay, we like one government and you guys go do all the research, which we supposed to have spent the last four years doing. And I'm concerned that, that we don't get this list too long of things for the board to do and that we're not recommending, we, we may not, what we recommend may get overthrown. And that's, that's part of this whole business. But I think we should not abrogate our responsibilities by having make it, tossing everything over to the two boards and, we, and being perfectly frank for the cameras. The two boards can't agree on anything hardly these days. That's going to delay this thing forever. And so I'm just concerned that we don't get this list too long of things that we, okay. that we think just, we'll toss I, over to them. And I just want to say too, in regards to a timetable here, uh, it seems that this board is, or I'm sorry, this committee is looking at trying to get this as a referendum vote this November. Correct in saying that? We, haven't, we've said, we haven't said that. Well, it's supposed I to believe be April, two meetings ago we, I thought we had a conversation where we said that we were hoping to do it in uh, this year. but. What I say about why I bring that up is that I think that you also then have to establish a cutoff date for when you would be able to feasibly put something as a referendum on the ballot for this November as well, as the date for when these <coughs> questions need to be answered. Oh, yeah. well, we knew last year what we were going to do, it was by August, I think it was, mm -hmm. we, when we were going to do it last November. Mm -hmm. I think that was the, the date yeah. that, was, that was given. So it's, 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 it, it's a board but of elections question. We have to work back, yeah, yeah, to work back on that. But Dan, the setting? Yeah of the referendum, mm -hmm. the resolution, mm -hmm. okay, to be presented to the voters is not this committee's job. I don't disagree with Carol. We have yep. all of the things and they should be, you know, we know what the items are mm -hmm. and, you know, what should be going into the resolution. I'm not sure this committee can or should, and given our conversation with President Du Bois, that we can recommend a fire district as opposed to a fire company. I don't, 
I think that's going to have to be a presentation yeah, I made. I just want to throw in, we're not, I don't see that we have a problem with the long list here. The, the financial thing would have had to have been done anyway. That was discussed all the way back last spring. That, so that's, that's not a change. That doesn't represent a change. The, the, there's two significant changes. One is small. It could probably be handled by the two boards in five minutes, which is the matter of what they want to do with the elections having to be partisan. That's, you know, it, if, if this board sticks with the straw poll that it took a month ago, this committee, sorry, to, with the straw poll that it took uh, eight weeks ago, to have the sense to continue moving forward with this process um, and then just spend the time we're spending now developing it, then I get the sense from that that you're going to be saying that you think it's worth doing even though it's going to have partisan elections, but you need to let those two boards make the final decision about whether they're going to accept that, whether they prefer that. The big thing is exactly what we went through two weeks ago, and it's still the big thing. And I think that everyone here who's saying this, and what Bill said uh, here today to reinforce that, and, and what I said at the previous meeting is absolutely right. The, the examination of the, the big looming thing, which is which form of fire protection is going to be in that document that the public is going to vote on, that's going to have to be done, as Bill said, with a public hearing, with the two boards. We can't do that. We can't do that, and 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 it's not. We're not giving them a long list of things to do. It's really just the one big but, thing, and it's it's yeah. in their purview. But, they but should be doing it. No, but, but, what can, but what we can do, though, is we can say if we think so, you know, is this committee as a committee prepared to say that yes, we're prepared to recommend a consolidated government with a fire district slash fire protection districts. So in other words. We don't know which one it's going to be, but right. whether yes, regardless, that's what I'm we're that's prepared what the to group say that is we're moving think, towards. Right. But it needs to be them who looks at yes. the deeper that de yes. questions yes. to decide. Because I don't think this group. Yes. I'm not sure I agree. The yeah. amount they're of time, trust us. me, the time. Okay. They're going to around and ask us what we think. Oh. That's what I think is going to happen. What I that's like, I'm concerned about. Between the fire district like or fire protection district or anything. The money, the fire district. Honestly, my bigger concern is if because of the partisan elections. I won't say what my concern is. I would like to suggest. I'm interested now. So we can move ourselves forward. Are, are we losing Peter our, has, yeah, we're going to break up. He's leaving it on. That we will ask our consultant who has offered to do this. For those of you who have the original study, it's in that study. But to prepare a resolution for our review which we will then vote on or tweak or whatever you want to do and recommend it to the two boards as we were asked to do by the two boards, I would like to suggest that we add to that the reasons we believe this should happen and what we see as the pitfalls, and that's right. one of the things that, that Steve has brought up. You know, there does have to be a resolution and a very educated community to understand the, the difference between the two types of fire that we're going to have. And, and so bring in the cons, okay? And one of the cons is people just don't want to give up the status quo, okay? That's a con, and we have to deal with that. But if we could have a list that goes along with our final recommendation. I think that would go a long way to helping the two boards as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna meet in two weeks, and may I have a, and, and we will wait for you. All right, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> we'll just chit chat okay. and begin some of the peripheries, and may I have a motion to adjourn. So I move that. Second. Do you want us to second? second.